Okay, thank you. Shall we start? Uh, can we close the door, please? Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you counted on... Uh, okay. If you read the description of the session, you probably noticed that the author of the session was marked as Natalia Cvik. Uh, but instead you got me, <laughs> so you get 10 seconds to <laughs> leave if you counted the Natalia. <laughs> uh, okay, my name is Grzegorz, uh, I'm from Wikimedia Poland. Uh, I will speak a bit about the uh, multimedia gap in uh, Wikipedia project. Uh, uh, mostly about the audio gap and uh, you probably know there is a problem of a uh, multimedia gap but uh, we come with the solution and these are the people who uh, are behind this project uh, for many different reasons they couldn't be here today so uh, again uh, I'm the replacement <laughs> So the, 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 the project actually was started by uh, Boris Kozielski, uh, a Polish uh, Wikipedian uh, who passed away uh, a few months ago. Uh, uh, Boris was uh, one of the very first podcasters in, uh, in Poland. Uh, he was the man of the radio, but he was also devoted uh, Wikipedian. And uh, he worked uh, strongly on enlarging uh, uh, the, the, the sources of uh, uh, audio files on uh, Wiki uh, Media Project, and uh, f unfortunately he couldn't uh, finish this project. So his friends and uh, part of uh, Polish Wiki uh, community helped to continue this project. That's Boris. As I said, he was one of the very Polish podcasters. He did podcasts before it was in fashion. <laughs> okay, as you see, uh, there is a, a, a multimedia gap in uh, Wikipedia and Wikimedia uh, uh, project. Uh, Actually, there are more uh, official uh, documents than, for example, movies, audios, and drawings on uh, uh, Wikimedia Commons. Probably the half of them uh, were created by me as uh, CEO of Wikimedia Poland <laughs> due to our transparency policy. <laughs> uh, so, uh, why there are so few uh, audio files on the Wikimedia Commons? Uh, this picture uh, comes from the church in the lovely Silesian town I was born. It's a, a Gothic uh, town with a Gothic church with Baroque pipe organs. And you can uh, read about these things on Wikipedia. Can you hear the organs playing? No. <laughs> it would be nice, isn't it? To hear how, how, how they work. In. And they're they, they quite probably famous because they even have a, this uh, festival once a year that uh, gathers good uh, organ players from uh, over the, all over the Poland. And uh, not even locals know that these organs are quite all right. Uh, so what are the reasons uh, why there are so few uh, audio files on the Wikimedia Commons? Uh, the first reason is that uh, Wikipedians are text-oriented text -oriented people. Uh, I believe and uh, the people uh, behind this project believe that uh, uh, after interviewing uh, them uh, meetings with them during the conferences, uh, conducting uh, uh, interviews that uh, lots of Wikipedians think that the text is quite 
enough to explain everything. And uh, the, the problem was already uh, uh, stated in many different areas, like there were uh, articles about dance without showing how people are dancing. There are articles about languages uh, where there is no possibility to hear the language. Like, we are in the Silesian region, there is a Silesian language. And obviously there is a huge article on Wikipedia about Silesian language. Can you hear it? <laughs> Guess. <laughs> uh, so, uh, 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 there's a lot of Wikipedians that they, that, that they think that they, they believe that the, 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 the form of encyclopedia created ages ago is quite enough uh, and only should it be updated more than the previous ones. Like, uh, I don't know, the Britannica was updated every year, so it's okay if we update the text every second. <laughs> <laughs> but the younger generation, uh, is looking uh, for something uh, else. And uh, uh, what I believe is that the, 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 this way of absorption of knowledge are changing, and it's not only about the fashion. It's not that we can say that all these, uh, I don't know, YouTube projects are just the glimpse and they they'll disappear like, uh, I don't know, myspace.com. Uh, no, the, the, the way how we absorb the, the, the knowledge is changing and the trend is not only 20 years old. We see the trend uh, changing in a very long perspective. When you see at the history, you see that uh, the text is uh, uh, replaced more and more, first by a radio, then by a television, uh, and now, when everyone could be a YouTube star <laughs> and produce uh, audio materials, uh, young generation sees uh, new ways of absorbing the, the, the knowledge in a different way that uh, Wikipedians uh, saw it, let's say, 20 years ago. Uh, there are also some technical barriers, obviously, People just don't know how to create good recordings. Uh, uh, they don't know what kind of equipment they need. Uh, they don't know how to use it. But it's not very complicated, as you will see uh, later. There are also legal issues. Uh, people don't know if they can record each other's and then uh, use it. They don't know if they can record, I don't know, the, 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 the uh, organ concert in a church because they are worrying about the copyrights. Uh, they are worried also about, going back to this uh, previous uh, reason, the, the quality of, of the recording. Uh, so the, 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 the project is to solve all this problem. Why do we need more audio? For obvious reasons, uh, as I mentioned. Uh, the way of absorbing knowledge and information is changing. Uh, a Wikipedia without sound is uh, incomplete. So it means that uh, if someone will uh, search for, for example, Silesian language, and uh, will not be able to uh, find the, the, the audio recordings on Wikipedia, he or she will just bypass Wikipedia and go somewhere else, probably to YouTube. And a uh, short movie on YouTube explaining what Silesian language is, and uh, at the same moment uh, uh, providing audio recordings for, for, for Silesian language will make that uh, people will not use Wikipedia for uh, such uh, informations. And uh, the, the good thing, or the bad, <laughs> the bad thing at the beginning, is that uh, 
this could be one of the ways to, in, uh, to attract new people and newcomers to Wikimedia project. Uh, and the same happened with photographers. And uh, if we consider, for example, Wikilove Monument Contest as a success, which is success, because there were thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of uh, photos download on Wikimedia uh, Commons, and there are good quality photos. So probably we could repeat the same process with audio. We're not sure about it, but at least people behind this project will try uh, to do that. Uh, there are many, obviously, uh, examples of uh, sound illustrations that uh, could be very useful uh, in uh, Wikipedia uh, articles. There could be interviews with uh, people, uh, there could be voices, ethnic languages, uh, like I said, the nature sounds. It could be, would be great to have uh, birds singing during you, your reading the, the article about them. The sounds of civilization, the music, traditional song, chants, and things like this. Yeah, that would give a new dimension to, to, to the whole project and actually make the Wikipedia and standard education platform, which is one of the, the, the strategic aims and goals for, for uh, the whole movement. So what the project is about is to create a di diverse re uh, repository of uh, good quality fi files under open licenses. So everyone can use it, uh, everyone can share it, and uh, we are sure that the, 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 the materials have a good quality, uh, like, as I said, the, the, the photos uh, we tried and we succeed to add to uh, Wikimedia uh, project. So if we succeed with audio, these materials could be used in many uh, different activities. So uh, there are mentions only a few of them, but, uh, but uh, the, 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 the sky is the limit, obviously. Uh, so. so having an audio materials with uh, video materials, with photos, with text, uh, Wikipedia could be really the, 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 the global and uh, primary educational uh, platform for everyone. Um, as we succeed with photographers, they were not probably interested in editing articles but they were interested <laughs> in taking photos. This, the same thing could happen with people uh, interested in audio. The more people we attract to uh, we, uh, Wikimedia projects, uh, the, the better project is. And uh, the, the, the big need uh, of the project is to be always update and always uh, stay modern, not like 20 years ago, but like young people uh, see the world. And if they absorb the knowledge in their way, so it means that the project has to follow them. It will be easier then force <laughs> them to follow the old rules and uh, the, the, the old ways of uh, spreading the knowledge. And the uh, obvious uh, uh, word for everyone is that uh, adding uh, audio materials to, to the Wikimedia pro uh, projects, we uh, create more accessibility more, more, more accessible for everyone. So uh, I'm not talking about 
uh, people who are mentioned here, but I'm talking about everyone. Because uh, even if there's nothing wrong with your ears uh, and nothing wrong with your sign, you can uh, absorb the knowledge uh, not focusing on it, right? Because you can just play the audio attached to Wikipedia article, do something else, and you don't have to read, you don't have to spend time, but somehow hearing this, you absorb the knowledge. And that's how it happens. Uh, and that, that's a natural way to absorb the knowledge. Uh, and I think that's a, that's, that, that, that's a good way to, 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 to have things like this. Um, so that's everything. And uh, well, go to the solution. So uh, the project is uh, designed uh, to, uh, uh, to 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 minimize the barriers uh, I spoke uh, uh, before. So uh, the people behind the project want to create a series of uh, online trainings for everyone interested in uh, recording sounds. Uh, as you know, uh, with the, uh, having your phone is enough to take a picture. And the, the smartphones are better and better, so uh, the pictures are better and better. It means that everyone can take a picture. Uh, pe when people hear about recordings, they imagine uh, like studios full of equipment, uh, uh, being very well prepared and things like this. No, what you need is your smartphone and uh, good training and that's it. Maybe for some smartphones you need some additional tools and these trainings will be also about them. Uh, for example, we were thinking of uh, creating a line of micro grants for members of our community to support the purchase of small microphones attached to smartphones. They are not expensive, but you know, not everyone can give like 100 euro mm, away for a mic. Uh, and this could be the part of, for example, uh, Wikimedia Poland micro grant program to, to buy a mic that you can attach to, 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 to your smartphone. Uh, so this is the, the, the first part of the solution, the online trainings that uh, could be attended by anyone that will be recorded and spread all over the world. Uh, uh, the second part is uh, to repeat the, 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 the road the uh, photos took before. So that would be great to organize a global competition called Wiki Loves Audio for best recordings. And in this way, we could popularize the idea of adding audio uh, files to a Wikimedia project. And that's obviously, <laughs> these things will stay in Wiki Universe forever. So the, the, the project is designed to be a universal. So it's not only for, for Polish community. This could be used uh, worldwide. And uh, this is actually it. That we organized this session to uh, make new interviews, gather new ideas, uh, collect uh, your thoughts, and uh, prepare a better project. Because uh, uh, we did already interviews, uh, but they were, were only uh, with Polish community members. So uh, I would like to hear your global voice uh, what you think of it, if you have any ideas, why 
it could be successful and why this is not going to be <laughs> a success. <laughs> we have to think about everything. So uh, uh, we will start a quick uh, panel session with your thoughts and we will gather them and we'll pass to uh, people behind the project. So uh, I would like to hear your, your opinions. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Who was first? Yeah, okay. One thing I think before we, uh, you know, it would you know, probably <laughs> make you leverage the use of, you know, you know, getting people who are good at making recordings to come in, is thinking, how can we use this? I like your example of the sound of a specific organ in a specific church. My uh, father-in-law is a pipe organ enthusiast. I don't know if he's been able to travel here in Poland yet. Um, but yeah, he, they, you know, he's gone on many trips here to Europe and going to see organs in particular churches, so recording. And I know from what he played for me that there's a difference in the sound. So recording a particular church organ, yes. I'm, I was also thinking, just looking through another obvious bird call. Yes, that uh, the English, you know, and, you know, we should have the call, the song of every specific bird. And, you know, you literally have to record that in the wild. But sometimes there are practices, and I don't think there's copyright problems with uh, recording of a bird call. That's another thing, too, is that people record things that they, well, I did the recording, but what you recorded is, a, you know, and speeches can be copyrighted, um, you know, and having to write a fair use justification. That's a hill a lot of Wikipedia, you know, I'd say I'd maybe one of the 10 or 20% of English Wikipedians know how to do that. But we need to, uh, we, we should identify places where record sounds that we record can, can and should be used. That, you know, you know, as a way of targeting this effort. Yeah, so uh, the legal issue will be also explained in these workshops and trainings and technical issues as well. Uh, the the uh, the trainings and workshops uh, will be addressed to to actually everyone, not only to professionals, because everyone can take a picture, so everyone can also record things. But it's not easy to record, even if you have a good smartphone with a good mic. Probably most of the people in this room don't know how to handle. <laughs> the, the smartphone during the uh, interview or during the recordings. So during the uh, workshops, all this issue will be explained. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you a second. Uh, a couple of uh, notes. First of all, have you uh, thought about uh, wiki quotes? Because quoting is obviously a thing that can be done by sound. And, well, often is, uh, but uh, this adds uh, quite a new level of um, technical issues, of course. I mean, uh, we, ha we can have, for example, on common, on common a nice interview with someone, but if we want to quote it, we have to extract the audio of an exact part of it, uh, omitting perhaps uh, all these natural O's and R's, uh, which, uh, well, they, they are quite natural for anyone speaking, but, uh, but uh, those uh, don't look good in quotes, especially when written down. I can assure it as a journalist and editor who has had to edit an interview filled with uh, written um, mm, as, and if I cut it, uh, then uh, the half of the page would be empty. That's a problem. <laughs> uh, That's true. <laughs> also, um, uh, one of the one of the uh, main problems, of course, would be all kinds of uh, metadata issues, because uh, there is the question how exactly uh, we should um, uh, categorize these things and commons, how or, or how much we can uh, connect it to Wikidata, because not every audio file obviously should have its own item, but then again, uh, we rely a lot on Wikidata, and, and uh, the metadata handling on commons uh, separately is not so good. So, so that just has to be analyzed a lot. Also, uh, I wonder whether you have done some kind of, 
meta, uh, meta level analysis. I mean, uh, for example, if you think about uh, the basic ways you can use audio on uh, wiki projects. Uh, first, of course, is uh, providing accessibility by just uh, reading any text. That's pretty simple, even. Uh, then there is uh, the case of um, illustrating things, uh, all kinds of content. You also put an audio, like with a language, like with a bird, like, uh, for example, city sounds. This city sounds like this, 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 this. That's very cool. Uh, it is content. Uh, but uh, then there are quotes, uh, there are all, all kinds of other things. So um, may maybe there are ways I haven't thought about. These are the basic categories of usage. Yeah, probably there are much more issues we didn't think about. Yes. But yes. most of them will be solved by the community. Because if the problem will arise, the community will solve it. <laughs> That's and how we used to work. Yeah. And finally, uh, of course, um, uh, there is, uh, ah, yes, uh, also there is the findability problem. I mean, uh, for example, uh, I used to have in the 90s some, uh, 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 well, uh, vinyls with uh, sound effects uh, issued for theatres use. Uh, so you could illustrate uh, bombing or, or city sounds in the background or whatever. Uh, but uh, if we these, these kinds of files would be, I think, used a lot by different kinds of people, but we need to think very thoroughly how they would find them. Because, uh, again, Commons currently is not very great at that. Uh, there is a little bit of room for improvement, I'd say. <laughs> and and uh, also, uh, the finally, uh, uh, the corporate issues, I, I could... I think I could hold uh, already a lecture about those. Uh, I am kind of a copyright expert uh, in Estonia. I have worked with, uh, well, uh, against the copyright directive thingy and, and all that. So uh, I'm, I'm used to analyzing all Wikipedia things uh, uh, by copyright. And, uh, and I also see some solutions. But that's uh, quite another theme. And, and yeah, well, I, okay. I could offer some help. Could you repeat your name? Uh, so, well, um, Raul Veda. Okay. So uh, <laughs> the session I is also um, <laughs> have been for two days trying to join Wikimedia Polska, and Wikimedia Polska has uh, evaded me. So, well, if you can offer any help, uh, I, I would be very happy. Yeah. Dziękuję okay. bardzo. <laughs> now, this. Uh, I think the biggest obstacle is uh, it's difficult to quantify what is good sound and I I think the biggest pushback is whether perfect sound is the enemy of making good sound uh, like good audio files because it's very difficult to quantify whether that sound is good. Some people might think it's good. Some people might think it's terrible and nominate for deletion because of poor quality. Like I think that that is probably the biggest obstacle in whether someone should, for example, the example was create uh, recording bird sound. Are we? Are we gonna record an okay sound and wait for until someone records a better sound and upload that, or, or are we, we? Do we want to wait until we got the best sound before uploading that copy? That's true, but that's how all the projects work, right? <laughs> uh, the, the the first edition of an uh, article, let's say, is okay, but then people are coming and improving it instantly. So. Uh, Wikiproject Spoken Audio exists in a number of languages, not in Polish to my knowledge. Uh, no. I know the English one best. Uh, worth looking into because they are dealing with a lot of these issues and I think it runs very much parallel to what you're trying to do. Okay, so yeah, we'll remember this. But uh, in this project, it's not about having uh, r read all the article because it will be done sooner or later by uh, some machine that uh, could read just the whole article. That's probably that well not a technical word. issue, a big technical issue f in the future. Uh, that's about adding uh, uh, original materials, uh, new ones uh, reflecting original sounds. Uh, the the uh, readable version of article will be artificial.
Thanks everyone, we ran out of time for this session, but you can take it outside uh, if you have extra questions. Okay, so, thank thanks. you very much. Thank you. <laughs>